Hi guys, on my channel I bought and reviewed many different cameras. I touched on the different specifications and lenses which they have, but I've never ever thought about how to keep and maintain them. Cameras can reach about 500 to tens and thousands of dollars, so you really want to take good care of them. But if you guys are clueless on how to keep and maintain them, in this video I'm going to be covering 5 simple steps to actually teach you how. It's going to be a really fun video today, so for all the items that I'll be mentioning, it'll be down in the description below along with the timestamps to be able to cover the different topics and steps for you guys to follow along. So let's get started. Number 1, Lens Wipes. Here I have these Kauzas lens wipes which are really useful in small packets. They are basically small pieces of cloth soaked in lens solution. Personally, I use this to clean all of my camera and the lenses. Let me show you guys how. So first, you want to take out the lens cover. And here, you have the lens wipe itself. You can just tear it open. And inside all of this will have this small little piece of cloth soaked in lens solution. Now what you want to do is just basically open it up and clean the glass elements of your lens. You can also use this to clean other parts of your camera, especially the LCD screen which often your face might be close towards and have some oil stains. With that said, what I like about this is that it's disposable. Number 2, use microfiber cloth. Chances are if you own spectacles, you have one or two of these lying around. Now these cloths are specialized to be able to help you to clean sensitive glass elements. There are microfiber elements in each one of these cloths to be able to help you to clean your glass elements without scratching it. Now most of the tissue papers that you have out there are rather rough and will definitely damage the glass elements which will definitely affect your image quality. So what you want to do is be able to wipe it in a circular motion outwards from the inside out so that all the dust that is in the center will spread to the exterior of the lens itself which will lead us to step 3. Get a dust blower. Here I have are two of the dust blowers. They come in different shapes and different sizes and some of them are even called rocket blowers. So what you want to do is place your lens over here and be able to blow as much dust away and out of the lens as possible. You can also use this for your camera sensor which will be the only step that I'll recommend in regards to your camera sensor. Now your camera sensor is over here so it'll be quite obvious if there are dust along in the sensor itself. So just try to blow it out. These lens blowers are really useful and are very affordable coming at only a few bucks and come in different shapes and sizes. So do really invest in one. Now that you've cleaned both of your camera body and your lens, let's move on to step 4 which is where to keep them. Believe it or not, there's always moisture and dirt in the air. We should definitely create two key things that affect your camera. Number one is mold. Number two, rust. So you'll definitely want to get one of these dry cabinets. Getting a dry cabinet will definitely be the best long-term option as it keeps your gears dry and cool, preventing any moisture and change in temperature to affect your photography equipment. There's even an indicator to show you the moisture and temperature within the dry cabinet itself. But if you guys do not have space or have a tight budget, there's a temporary solution. You want to get one of those airtight boxes and get some silica gel, which usually comes with your products to be able to keep them dry. Now place them gently inside the box and your gears along with it as well. As mentioned, this is definitely a temporary solution, so do try to save up and get one of these dry cabinets instead. Now, we are not yet done, let's move on to step 5 which is to get a professional to clean the camera sensor. Now, the sensor of your camera is like the heart of your body. If your heart does not function, your body does not as well. Just as any operation that is done to your heart, you need a professional doctor, you definitely need a professional to clean the heart of your camera. After using it for 3 or 4 years, I recommend you to send it yearly for this cleaning. You'll definitely rather spend a few hundred dollars maintaining your camera gears than to spend a few thousands getting new ones instead. So send it yearly to get it well maintained. I hope you guys like my 5 steps on how to maintain and keep your camera gears. If you do, do give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. If you want to find out which camera is for you, do check out my playlist over here which I cover different kinds of cameras and the features which they have. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video.